everyone! Welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are safe and sound. I'm sure many of you might be familiar with Flappy Bird. If not the game, then at least the viral Instagram filter where you control the bird using your nose. That is exactly what we are going to do in today's video. We are going to make our own version of the Flappy Bird game using Pictoblock's Human Body Detection Extension in which we will control the bird using our nose. Prerequisites are a laptop or a computer with the latest version of Pictoblox downloaded, a camera and a good internet connection. You can download the all new Pictoblox from the link given in the description box below. Let's begin by adding the human body detection extension. Open Pictoblox. You need to keep two things in mind while working with the AI and ML extensions. First, you must sign in to your Pictoblox account from here. Second, your computer needs to be connected to the internet. Click on the board button and select Evive. Next, click on the end extension button. Choose Human Body Detection Extension and wait for a little while till the models get loaded. Now that you have successfully added the extension, we need to start writing the script for our Flappy Bird game. In this video, we will mainly focus on writing the script to control the bird with the nose. Thus, we have already written the script to set up the stage and the project. You can download the script from the link given in the description box below. Once you have downloaded the script, go to Pictoblox. Choose the file option to open up the downloaded script. Once you open the script, you will notice a lot of sprites and their scripts. We will briefly understand them and go back to writing our main script. The first one is the logo of the Flappy Bird. The logo appears every time we start the game by clicking on the green flag. Also with the start of the game, the score is set to 0. Next is the word sprite, which we will look into later on. The next two sprites are for the floor and the scripts written in them make them move continuously. Then comes the sprite of the start button, which upon clicking starts the game. The next three sprites are the pipe sprites. As soon as the game begins, these sprites should be hidden. As soon as the game starts, on clicking on the start button, they should begin to move continuously by changing the Y position randomly. The next two sprites shows the score of the player. As soon as the bird crosses the hurdle of 5, the score should increase by changing its costume. The next is the game over sprite. That should appear as soon as a bird touches any of the pipe sprites. The last one is the title sprite. Now let's come back to the bird sprite. Firstly, we will set up the bird sprite as soon as the game begins. Thus, drag and drop when I receive broadcast block from the events palette and choose begin game from the drop down. Now to make the bird move forward, place point in direction 90 block from the motion palette. From the looks palette, place the show block. Also, to bring the bird sprite to the front layer, place go to front layer block below the show block. Now, set the initial position of the bird to x as 0 and y as 0 using the go to xy block from the motions palette. Now, to make the bird look like it is flying, place a forever block from the controls palette. Next, Place the next costume block from the looks palette into the forever block. To make the costume change visible, place the weight block from the controls palette and write 0 0.05 into the space given. Now let's make another script in the bird sprite to control it using our nose whenever we click on the start button. Drag and drop when I receive block from the controls palette. Choose game from the drop down. Now to turn the video feed on, from the human body detection palette, drag and drop 
turn on video on stage with 0% transparency block and replace 0 with 25. To continuously detect the position of the nose, drag and drop the forever block from the controls palette. Next, place the analyze image for human pose from the camera block. And set the Y position of the bird as the Y position of the nose. Now, we will set the Y position of the bird as the Y position of the nose. Thus, drag and drop the set Y2 block from the motions palette. Into the input, place Y position of nose of person 1 block from the human body detection palette. Finally, we'll write a small script for what happens when the bird sprite touches the pipe sprite. Duplicate the above hat block and remove all the blocks below it. Place a forever block from the controls palette. Place an if arms from the controls palette into the forever block. Drag and drop the touching color reporter block from the sensing palette into the if arm and pick the color of the pipe's border. If the bird touches the pipe, the bird should stop moving aka all the scripts of the bird sprite should stop. Thus, from the controls palette, place stop all block into the if arm. With this, our script is complete. Click on the green flag and start playing. I dare you to beat my score and share your videos with us in our Pictoblocks community on Facebook. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to STEMpedia and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Bye-bye. Stay safe.